Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, X Jaws, and this is the second gameplay from the new map pack. Um, this map is Storm, I believe, and uh, Storm. It's got the rain coming down, kind of like um, underpass or downpour from Call of Duty 4. Um, and you know, I, I don't mind the rain. I don't mind it at all. And uh, I've been liking the map pack, and I want to first start off the map by but fart off, start off, fart off. I said fart off. Uh, I first want to start off the match by saying that. I uh, said last uh, commentary in the crash commentary that my favorite map was was Bailout, um, but Bailout is definitely not my favorite map. After playing the map pack a little bit more, I realized that Storm is without a doubt my favorite map. Um, so you know, just letting you guys know that I I really don't like Bailout, especially for Domination. Domination, I just hate Bailout. Um, but enough about that. Let's get to the game. Um, as you saw there in the beginning, capture the B flag and not. I mean. Infinity Ward did a terrible job designing, the, designing uh, the B flag right there. You, there's so much uh, cover around it, and you would think that that's a good thing, but really anybody can throw a grenade in there, and it's just, the, it's just ridiculous how easy it is to get somebody off of that flag. All you need is one guy with the grenade, and not only that, um, but all the area around it. It's got the scaffolding that you're seeing on right now. Um, this area right here above B, like, anybody can get to B. I mean, I'm surprised anybody ever changes the B flag. I mean, with anybody uh, staying around here. Um, you guys get what I'm saying. I don't really like the way that the B flag is designed. I'm sure that it'll, um, it, its issues will be emphasized later on after everybody's gotten comfortable with the map. Uh, so enough about that. Uh, you see here, I'm on the B flag, and when I'm capturing it, I pull out my G18s. Because if anybody's going to be rushing in here to try and kill me, uh, my G18s are going to save my life uh, way easier than my UMP would ever do. Uh, my perks for this game are Marathon, Stocking Power, and Ninja Pro. And the reason I'm using Marathon, um, well, there's two reasons I'm using it. One, I don't know all the maps, and I like using Marathon. I get to run around the map easier, but Marathon probably wouldn't be the best choice for this map, having played it as much as I have already. Uh, because it is a really small map like all the other maps, but I'll get into that later. Uh, Stocking Power, just because uh, it's Stocking Power. And uh, Stocking Power is good. And Ninja Pro, because uh, it's Ninja Pro. And uh, Ninja Pro is good. Uh, my kill streaks are 3, 5, 7. And that brings me to my next point. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to say. Uh, the other reason that I'm using Marathon Pro is because I'm not really expecting to get too many kills. I'm not familiar with the maps like everybody else. I'm likely to die, especially when I'm rushing around uh, or expecting to be rushing around Marathon and SMG. Uh, so, yeah, that brings me to my next point. Uh, my kill streaks 3, 5, 7, UAV Predator Missile Harrier. And the reason why I'm using such low kill streaks, or at least the low kill streaks for me, is because I don't know the maps that well. I mean, eventually, two or three days from now, I'll know the maps fine, but I think everybody in the first couple of days of the game, or first week or two, depending on how much you play Modern Warfare 2, you gotta go back, uh, blast from the past, put on that UAV. Um, it's gonna work out much better for you than um, the higher kill streaks because UAV is gonna see your ass so many times you're gonna be able to see where the enemies are and that is just so vital uh, when new maps come out which isn't that often uh, but it is really vital for you to use UAV because you don't know your way around the map and even though other way other people don't know their way around the map you, you never know they might have a UAV or they uh, might just get lucky so uh, yeah use those low kill streaks um, so pretty much all the maps released in the map pack, with the exception of, well, no, I'd say all the maps are fairly small, um, at least from Modern Warfare 2 standards. Overgrown would have been considered uh, the biggest map uh, for Call of Duty 4 standards, I believe, that or Creek, uh, but Creek was a joke. I mean, seriously, who liked Creek? Uh, I skipped that map every time, and if it didn't get skipped, I left the game. Um, but yeah, Overgrown was a big map for Call of Duty 4, but now that everybody uses SMGs in Modern Warfare 2, Run Route Marathon, and Lightweight, uh, it's kind of ridiculously average. I mean, it's kind of, and I say ridiculous because it is kind of ridiculous that one of the biggest maps from Call of Duty 4 would now be considered a medium to small map. I don't know. Um, that's just my opinion. So, what I, like I'm 
what I'm trying to say here is that all the maps released in the map pack are excellent for SMGs, which is good because I like maps that are closer and a lot of rushing. But I think Infinity would could have, you know, probably be on one big map because I, I like big maps a lot more than small maps. That's just my opinion. Uh, like whenever, you know, High Rise or Scrapyard or Rust comes up, I always skip it. That's why I rarely upload gameplays with them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is that, uh... There's one map in particular that I hate. Out of the five maps, take a guess. Salvage. Salvage is a ridiculously bad map in my opinion. I believe it's an exaggerated version of Rust and, you know, Shipment. It's really a small map. All the fights are kind of ridiculously close together. I mean, you'd be better off with a G18, with G18 Akimbo's. And I'm not just saying that because I just used them and I watched myself use them, but you'd honestly be better off with G18 Akimbo's than any other weapon. I mean, yeah, shotguns are good, but nah, not really. I mean, you're going to run into some long range, and yeah, some of are good for small maps, but you're still going to run into some really close range where you're going to get, you know, knife or whatever, or commandoed. Um, so I honestly think you could run around with that map with G18s, and you know, maybe I'll even do it, just to prove a point. I don't know. I, I might do that, just to prove a point. Um, so yeah. That's that's my opinion, I, and I'm not one of those people who says, "Oh, hey, leave a comment, guys." Uh, question of the day: Do to do to do to do. Um, but I do want to ask you guys to leave me uh, or, or tell me um, what do you guys think of the map pack, and specifically, what do you guys think of salvage? Because I know I can't be the only one who doesn't like salvage. I mean, I'm not trying to say it's a. I don't want you guys just to like blindly say that it's a bad map because I say it's a bad map. Like, honestly, do you guys think it's a bad map? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just not good at the map, and therefore I hate it. I don't know. Um, so, uh, I'm pretty tired right now. I actually uh, stayed up all night. I was pretty disappointed because if, if anybody else was waiting um, for the maps, you would know that <coughs> the maps uh, came out at 5. Sorry. <coughs> the maps came out at 5 Pacific Time, 8 Eastern Time, I'm Eastern Time. I don't know why I said Pacific Time first. Uh, but they came out around 8 Eastern, but I didn't know. I thought they came out uh, at 4 a.m. So I woke up at 4 a.m. I, I went to bed really early last night. Went to bed at 4 or woke up at 4 a.m. And then when the maps fin or when the update finally came out that said Stimulus uh, Playlist, then it was another hour before the maps came out hour before the patch where you could play them and another hour for multiplayer to get fixed so it was kind of ridiculous how long I stayed up without the maps uh, but a lot of people kept me company like FPS Kyle and that guy who camps and speaking of FPS Kyle I did a dual commentary with him a couple days ago you guys should all know about that but I'm actually doing a channel with him not just him uh, I'm doing a, I'm doing a um, channel called Famous Theater which you guys all saw the promo for or maybe you just didn't look at it because you're a dick <laughs> and you don't like me uh, but yeah we're a bunch of guys 12 or 13 youtubers are involved in it now all of us have like over 5,000 subs I think it's a really awesome channel you guys should check it out I'll leave a link in the description uh, in addition to the video I uploaded earlier today or yesterday depending on when I upload this or when you're watching it I don't know and uh, here I make use of my G18s but eventually die from Predator Missile or not Predator Missile the Harrier um, so the game's winding down here, guys. I would like to um, say thanks for checking out my video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I don't say that enough. I don't say that. Um, so, yeah, just remember, guys, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Salvage. Tell me what you think of Map Pack in its entirety. What do you think of the fact that... Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, my friend told me that the... The maps have already been on the disc this whole time. Uh, all the five maps have been on the disc the whole time, and when you downloaded them, you didn't really download them, you just downloaded an update for the maps that made them playable to the public. And uh, some, like, modders and hackers have been able to actually play Crash and all those maps for, excuse me, for the entire length of Modern Warfare 2 because it's been out since, you know, the day Modern Warfare 2 came out. Uh, which kind of makes me think, you know, hey, that's kind of lazy of Infinity Ward to be like, oh, we're not going to release these maps, we'll just release them as a map pack. I think that's kind of, um, I don't want to say it's greedy of them, but it, it is greedy of them. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but I do want to say it, and I did say it. 
Uh, lately, I've been hearing nothing but good things about World at War, which some of you guys might know that I never played. I played Call of Duty 2, 4, and World at War. And uh, I'm pretty psyched about this Black Ops game, because that's what the new Call of Duty is called. It's in Vietnam, and it's called Black Ops. See you guys later. Bye.